Jamaica has come. Jamaica has gone. We're at work now. I'm driving a bus today. I'm vlogging. I decided to bring my camera. Why not? Um, I gotta go make another trip. But right now I'm gonna get some coffee and McDonald's. And after that, we can talk about something else. Let's move. Transition. Get some McDonald's coffee, it's cheap. 162 for a large. Do it black, no sugar. Black, no sugar. You know, I used to Dunkin', but now I'm Mickey D's. Mickey D's, you can have, you can make on D's. Mickey D's! Yo, they should pay me for advertisement. Because I'm a star. I'm a star. Let me get out of here. So I'm not in Jamaica anymore and I made a video about AVAs and OTOs, so I'm going to play that. So it's pretty cool having AVAs and OTO because it's just a different way to get vacation. But, but putting in for it is tough. Putting in for the Red Book is tough. Some people's have you staying a night in the depot which is something that by contracts you shouldn't be doing you should not be in the facility after an hour or two hours i think it is and some depots have this and this is crazy to me because how would you want somebody to stay in the depot stay the night and then come to work again it's not safe and sometimes even calling in you don't get your calls in on time putting in in putting in notes you don't get in on time. I think that it, I think there should be a better process of putting these days in. So with that said, um, we have a great thing, but it's a hard thing to put in for it. It's it's complicated. It's it's tough. You know, tricks in the trade, um, things that come with the job. But at least. Job and career, it, it, it's great, and I, I, I'm blessed for it. I love it, you know. But other people don't. The one thing I do like about it is the seniority thing. Sometimes, um, in some depots, the more seniority you have, the easier it is to get into some days. And some days are seniority days. I think that makes sense, you know. The more time you have, the more benefits you have. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that right now. See you later. Put our uniforms on regardless if they might not be comfortable or anything but do you feel good in your uniform do you feel prideful yeah I'm very prideful in having this job and having this career like I say right now a man just gave me like one of the best compliments he was like yo you're a good person and this is why I wear the uniform this is exactly why God put me in this job we could all talk about these customers and the things that they do to us but the truth is when you hit ignorance with kindness this is something that you get off this job that is amazing and I try to tell everybody that I try to tell everybody yo be positive stay positive if you're negative the only thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna get negative that things are gonna be negative for you it might sound like a mindset. Honestly, it should be a way of life for everything you do in your life. Everything you do in your life should be like that. You should never, never feel like you can't have nothing, like anything is negative. It's all your thoughts, man. What you think happens. And it's that time of the year that you got to put your uniform on. Do you put your uniform on with pride? Do you love what you do? If you do, I guarantee you, the job treats you better. The years go by faster. You retire quicker. I gotta get out of here, I gotta move the bus. I make videos. Oh, you do? Yeah, I like it. So, so I made to this, today I'm talking about putting on your uniform because I was on vacation. So I truly wonder if people 
know that wearing the uniform is a blessing. We make the digits, we get the math, we stack the numbers, we get respect. We are looked at like special. People hate on us because they know what we have is good. But do you really understand that? Or you're just here because it's a paycheck, a cha-ching. If you're just here because it's a paycheck, I'm sorry for you because you got 25 years of torture. This job is great. I love it. Love doing what I do. I wish everybody would love doing what they do too. It's satisfying for me to do customer service in a way that I can help people when they can't even help themselves. It's like a God sent mission. Just my opinion.